Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is James and today we're going for a drive and we're gonna be talking about Stellantis. What's going on, what the name means and why Subaru might not be that stoked about this name. All right, so what is Stellantis? Well, if you've been keeping up with automotive news, you may be aware that Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and Peugeot are going to be merging into like this super group that is reportedly going to be the fourth largest car company in the world. And the name of this new group will be Stellantis. So the root Stella means stars and reportedly Stellantis means to brighten with stars. This is a reference to the fact that there will be so many different brands that are coming together under this new super group uh, called Stellantis. And those brands include Abarth, Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, Citroen, Dodge, Deus, Fiat, Jeep, Lancia, Maserati, Opel, Peugeot, Ram, and Vauxhall. So you can see that there are a bunch of brands that are coming together and it kind of brings to mind the imagery of a constellation of stars and hence the name Stellantis, which means to brighten with stars. At this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, James, you crazy. This merger between FCA and PSA has nothing to do with Japanese automakers. So why in the world would Subaru of all brands be upset at this new name? Well, here's the thing. The name Subaru is actually the Japanese name for the constellation Pleiades. And that name was a reference to the five companies that came together to form Fuji Heavy Industries, which is kind of the parent company of Subaru. Or more accurately, you can say that Subaru is kind of the automotive division of Fuji Heavy Industries. And by this point, it should be really obvious what this has to do with Stellantis. It's the same kind of idea where we're using the imagery of stars to represent companies that are coming together. But this is the kind Kind of thing that lawyers might actually pick on and be like, hmm, you know, I don't think that's okay. In a past life, I was a an attorney. I was actually a mergers and acquisitions attorney at that. And in law school, I actually studied intellectual property law, including trademark law. And I can almost guarantee you that the attorneys at Subaru called up their counsel all around the world to study this issue uh, from all kinds of different angles in different jurisdictions. That is something that I can almost guarantee they noticed and brought up to their bosses and their bosses probably said, let's not worry about it. So far, seems like Subaru is playing nice, although I can totally imagine that Subaru's lawyers probably called this one out as soon as they heard of the name Stellantis. So that's all I got for you today, guys. If you liked this video or if you learned something new, go ahead and hit that like button down below and hit the subscribe button. Every like, every subscribe, every comment is so encouraging to me at this point where I'm trying to just start this new channel, grow it, and kind of share my love of cars with, with all of you. So um, if you don't mind hitting those buttons, it really helps me out. It helps encourage me to make more videos like this. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully that was interesting and I'll see you next time for more driving and dribbling.